Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your July, July. This is your July, July. This is your July 2022 general reading for the sign of Scorpio. My guest this month is Charlie Evans. Hello all. I normally put a link in the description box to Charlie's page. The, the page is not yet up and running, so I will add this the moment I know her page. I will not go back and put it here. I will just announce it again and then put it on. Uh, uh, you know, future videos, if that makes sense, right? And how would you know about future videos? By subscribing. If you subscribe, you will always be notified, right? And if you're not getting notified, right, then just make it a habit to check the, the, the channel anyway. <laughs> here we go. Anyway, what we will do here, Scorpios, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we look into the um, emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen this month, maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff before we then go into opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of July 2022. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. All that said, we are starting with the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. Uh, yes, so you have intervention and purpose this month, Scorpio. So, um, the intervention is coming from your guides so when you see those signs when you get those messages just be really grateful the guides are really with you at the moment they're giving you energy they're giving you guidance to move forward so make sure that you're embracing that um, and this month is your focus to be happy to find a purpose and to be happy doing it and um, whether happiness is your purpose whether you need to change things whether it's changing your role, changing your job, changing your responsibility so much so that you focus on your happiness to give you a greater purpose, which will give you a higher vibration, higher energy to do the things that you want to do. Um, also focus on working with your crown chakra, but also your throat chakra. So use your intellect, but also communicate what you want and communicate what's going to make you happy to others so that they can help you on your journey as well. Thank you so much. And that that ties in really neatly with your overall energy because your overall energy is about the upper world. So there are three worlds in shamanism, lower world, middle world, upper world. Oh, and, and the upper world, by, by default, the idea here is that this is about your, your um, this is your subconscious, this is your now, and this is your higher self, if that makes sense. But it also means that when you are asked to be with your higher self, that's exactly what you just said, is, is to actually pay attention, make changes, don't, don't, don't stay where you're not welcome. That's number one. When you, when, if we all started to change that, this would be such a different world, right? Mm -hmm. And because you are in the higher world, um, which doesn't necessarily um, represent the future, but because you are elevating yourself, your energy is rising, and you see yourself worse, you will therefore manifest and create higher energy, which therefore manifests a better future. So what is happening here with your emotional core is not that there's love coming in or not coming in, or that there's healing that needs to happen. What the guides are saying, in order to make anything happen, anything you want, or to make anything better that needs to be better, it's about how you see things things, I can't pronounce the H, how you see things, right? So the point they're making is if you could just be at your best, if you just allow yourself, you know, you're not going to bring me down, nobody's going to bring me down, I'm fucking awesome. When you say I'm awesome, you can forget about the fucking, it's just, yeah, it's just the way I talk. <laughs> but, if you, but if you can say like, I'm, I'm awesome, right? Um, you will notice what the difference it makes. And so treat yourself to being number one in your world without ego it's not ego when you say like you know what i deserve so much more and it can't come to me unless i feel i deserve it so that's how this all works so when it comes to um healing this month the energy that i'm getting is the only way to really shift stuff that you have been carrying around for quite some time scorpios is by understanding that you're not a bad person because when you are going from the middle world from the now so to speak to your higher self that makes sense you have to leave doubt behind 
right? And that's the energy that I'm getting for you with regards to your emotional core. While this is a bit vague with regards to whether or not there's love coming in because they haven't shown me any, that doesn't mean there isn't. We're just not talking about it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so that's uh, important for you to realize you are awesome. And now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of July for the sign of Scorpios. Uh, yes, yeah, so your opportunities are represented by the honeybee. So this is about compassion and forgiveness. Um, so just make sure that in terms of money, that if you want to show someone that you care or if you want to make a gesture, maybe you've fallen out with someone or things haven't been good with someone in a while, that if you just invest in something small, a little gift to show that you care and that you want to build that connection again, that will work really well for you this month. Um, also, bees are working together, making the hive, um, all of that. So make sure that you're, um, yeah, that you're investing in groups, that that will be a good opportunity for you to work with people in a team for better opportunities this month and for things to grow from that. So um, yeah, and opportunities as well, as long as you're compassionate and forgiving with others, opportunities will come your way because people will be drawn to your energy, they'll realise the good work that you're doing, that you're working on yourself, and that will open up pathways for you this month, Scorpio. Thank you so much. And, shamanically speaking, um, the bees have a contract with the bears, if that makes sense. And what that means is that all the bear, bears are about you healing, deep healing. Um, oftentimes the bear is about feminine healing, but that uh, doesn't mean that a bloke can't have a bear. It just means like if, if, if it is about feminine healing, it's about your, 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 your core, your emotions, your, your, your tender side. And because you have the bear, uh, have to have the bee working with the bear, when you actually look for opportunities and understand that it is the, the give and take and the working together, it also allows you to easier let go of stuff that is difficult for you to heal from by not being alone in it, right? So that's all we got. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share and see you all next month. Bye-bye. Thank you.